Accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 weather with meteorologist Sabian Colon. Good evening, everybody. A active night we have ahead of us, but right now look at our Syntex Roof System Sky Tracker. We're out here in Temple with mostly cloudy skies. You can see flashes of lightning as well in some points. Right now checking in at 73 degrees with an easterly wind at 8 miles an hour. Let's go straight to it. We have a severe thunderstorm watch until 2 a.m. Sunday. This pink color all containing central Texas. Again, that's a large hail, damaging winds, and heavy flooding. Again, speaking of flooding, we also have a flood watch until 1 p.m. on Sunday pertaining to the majority of Central Texas, all of Central Texas actually, in this dark green color. Again, a lot of rain has been worked over Central Texas the past couple of days. Again, it only takes a little bit to then agitate that soil, which is all so saturated right now to then get that possible flooding. Now going to our exclusive Viper Radar, we can see all of these showers just working their way through Central Texas. We're going to zoom in now to McLennan County and really see the action that's going on right now. We can see this purple color this band that's working through our studio right now you can hear the possible rain right now on top of us right now you can see all of that rain and just that heavy downpours and a lot of rain associated moving over to our western portion of our viewing area this also has a lot of action as well it's just working its way to the north and to the east again just have all these polygons the green polygons all the flash flood warnings and the yellow ones are the severe thunderstorm warnings and those are pertaining to the large amounts of hail and a lot of rain just a lot of rain has been working through Hamilton County. You're going to see this red right here that has a lot of flash flooding. But going now to our future caster starting here at midnight. Most of the rain is in our northern portion. Putting this into motion, we get to that 2 a.m. hour. We can already see this line forming by Gatesville. And as we put this into motion, we go into that 3 a.m. hour. This rain is on top of a heavy amount of Temple and Cameron and El Waco, just all along I-35. Just heavy amounts of rain. If you get woken up by run ball thunder, this is what's happening outside. That's why you got woken up and as you go into the morning of that Sunday, the showers really just work their way out of our area and they're really gone by that morning waking up on Sunday. But we do as we get to the afternoon, a little bit more showers down in the Braz Valley going to that evening hours. So those clouds start to clear out a little bit. We do have mostly clear skies down in the Braz Valley at five o'clock on that Sunday. As we go into that Monday morning, we get more clouds working their way into our area. Starting off your Monday morning, mostly cloudy skies, temperatures in the upper 60s and lower 70s. Going into the afternoon and into the evening hours of Monday, we start to clear up a bit and we get mostly sunny skies to partly cloudy skies at that Monday at 5 p.m. We did go into our tonight forecast to see mostly cloudy skies at 66 degrees. Heavy rain is likely. That's the rain that's happening right now. And as we go into our tomorrow forecast, we can see 78 degrees, mostly cloudy skies. And I'm going to say 40% showers. That's going to be in the morning. Those showers that are lingering over from tonight, they're going to stay over a possibility of 40% chance till tomorrow morning as well. And here is the rest of your long range 10 day forecast. Once we get to Monday, we get a lighter chance of those showers 20% and then they stay around till Thursday 20% chance of those showers. And once we get that Friday, we get mostly sunny skies at 78 degrees. And then we get to that Mother's Day weekend. We get broken cloud conditions at 75 degrees on Saturday and 77 on Sunday going down south to the Brazos Valley. Again, we do have less of those chances showers from Monday through Wednesday. Look at those temperatures getting up to 92 degrees on Thursday. That Mother's Day weekend is looking pretty good as well. Broken cloud conditions 82 on Saturday and 77 on Sunday. We do have the overnight lows in between the 60s and the 70s. PJ, back to you.